So now we'll see as to how you can uh, create a project for your Google Assistant SDK and also create a model in your Actions Console. So first go into console.cloud.google.com. So I'll, I will attach the links for these in the description of this video and in another tab open console.actions.google.com so again i will leave this links in the description of this video so once you are here if you are new and you have not started a project you will see an option called select a project click on this and within the small window you should see an option called new project click on that and give your project a name So I'm giving it a name called uh, Google Assistant Demo. Say for example, you can you have an option now to edit your uh, project ID. See if you want, you can uh, assign your own project ID or you can just use the ones that is being already generated. So if you want, click on the edit option and give it some other name. So if your project is not valid, you will see some warning symbols over here. Let me show that also. So if your project ID is not valid, it will uh, say that it is not valid. And set your uh, organization or location to no organization and then choose create. So now you should see a notification uh, create project Google Assistant demo. So once that is done, go into API uh, and services option and choose dashboard. From the drop down, choose your project. And now you will see an option called enable APIs and services. Click on that and here type assistant. And now you should see an API called Google Assistant API. Click on that and choose Enable. And then go back again and here. So different projects call for a different number of a number of different APIs. So for my GSS project, I have a different uh, all a, a number of different APIs to be used. Say the fundamental API is the uh, Google Assistant SDK, and apart from that, I'm also using Search API, Custom Search API. So this is not meant for everyone. Say if your project calls for certain APIs, you need to add them. So in my project, I'm also using uh, YouTube Data API version 3. So I'm adding that as well. So now go back and choose API and dashboard. And now go into credentials and choose create credentials. So uh, certain APIs require a key and uh, certain others require an uh, auth client or zero O auth client ID. So you need to generate both. First choose API key, close and uh, then choose again create credentials and zero auth client ID. And here first choose uh, configure consent screen, give your uh, project a name. 
so if you have something on the lines of google or something it will give up a prompt so don't have that just give your project a name and then choose save so after the consent screen is created choose other and just give your credentials a name and choose create so once you are done creating credentials uh, you can actually close this window and now go into the actions console i will attach the links again in the description of this video and now here choose to add or import project and now as soon as you click on your project name uh, your project should pop up over here so this is if you sign in into the cloud console and the actions console with the same google id so if you use the same google id so your uh, project should automatically get detected over here choose that and then choose import project so after that just keep scrolling down and go into device registration and choose register model give your uh, project a name so manufacturer or something these are just random names device type can be anything so i am choosing as light so your uh, model id will be automatically generated and now choose register model as it is now you can uh, download your credentials or you can download the credentials later i will show you as to what you can do to download the credentials a bit later and now choose next specify traits just give all seven and choose save so that is it your uh, project id is created your device has been registered so uh, subsequently if you want to download your credentials just click on this and then uh, click on the hamburger icon and choose download uh, the auth 2.0 credentials and save it to somewhere okay so that is pretty much it so that is how you can uh, create your project on a cloud on google's cloud console and then register your device in the uh, actions console of google